here's here we go. Yeah, of course, yeah. Hello, everybody. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. We're coming to you live from Gold Squadron Flight Club. Use that coupon code GSP at Kuat Print Yards, exclamation point, Kuat, K-U-A-T, or click the link in the description down below to get those awesome 3D printed uh, dial covers, tokens, bunch of different things. I will tell you the dial covers, though, that those are... Mm, so nice, so nice. Uh, check out the ETA2 dial covers. You will not regret those. And, of course, using that coupon code does help us out a little bit, too. Um, let's take a look at our rules for list building. Two ship team up. Only two ships are allowed. Each pilot must be on a different ship type. And you can watch us every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Do not forget it. All right, James, these guys are going to get into it quick. What are the lists? I'm starting to choose your champion. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna run, 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 run through it, run through it. <laughs> so on the left we have uh, Zach Ferris with the Django Fit, bringing in Count Dooku, Probe Joids, False Transponder Codes, and he also has uh, Darth Maul with Hate, Proton Torpedoes, and Chancellor Palpatine. Uh, so uh, a lot less upgrades uh, than uh, than than last game for that for that side. On the right, we have Mike Simmons with the Empire. Has uh, Captain Oiken with Intimidation. Gonk Droid. Gotta get the Gonk Droid in there. Gonk. Perceptive Co-Pilot. Agent Callus. Veteran Turret Gunner. Proximity Mines. And Shield Upgrade. So a very, very thick Oiken. So uh, hoping to do lots of damage there. Uh, and then we have Vermeil uh, with a Force Loaded Vermeil with a Lone Wolf, Grand Inquisitor, Darth Vader, Shield Upgrade. So, uh, coming in uh, very strong, very, very upgrade heavy on the Empire side here. Got Party Bus Oiken and Force Loaded Vermeil. Uh, what I was going to mention, uh, who. Callus? Who got the Callus token? Um, yes. I don't think they had it. So this was what I was I was talking about earlier. I really like the call for uh, bringing Callus in this format. Callus, yeah. if, if you're not familiar, it's it's a card that we don't often see, but it in a two ship format, it's actually really really good. It says during setup, which they they missed this part, but the, they'll just go ahead and do it now. Uh, after placing forces, assign the hunted condition to one enemy ship. All right, so you give that to one of the two enemies that you have. And it says, while you perform an attack against the ship with the hunted condition, you may change one of your focus results to a hit result. So you have this soft focus modifier every time you attack the person you've assigned as hunted. Um, and then the actual condition, all it says is that after the hunted ship is destroyed, the you must choose, so the person who is hunted chooses another friendly ship and assigns it to it. So somebody else becomes hunted. It never goes away. By the way, shout out to SDNW for subbing earlier and now gifting a sub as well. Thank you so much, fam. We're at 85. And it looks like Django was the call for the hunted. I, I agree. 100% agree. Now, a note, that only works for Oiken when attacking against Oiken and uh, and not... or Sorry, when Oiken is attacking Django, not when Vermeil is. So who do you like in this matchup, James? Ooh, man. Uh, I, I, th I think my money's on the Empire. I think it was, but then this kind of happened with the Vermeil. He kind of got stuck in a bad spot. Um. So, oof. I, I think at the begin, I think the matchup looks. I think I think I favor the Empire, but I think positioning right now, it looks like uh, the Separatists may have a really good hit here on on the Empire. I'm really scared. All right, yeah, we'll get the we'll get the clock fixed here in a second. Oh, they they kind of yeah, quick draw the the clock on us. Thank you, Gus. All right, now this man, this engagement for Vermeil is gonna be rough. I 100% agree. Hitting that debris right on the onset might be setting the tone for uh, for this matchup right now. Hopefully, hopefully this doesn't go too fast. 
Yeah, that, this could be a very quick game. Like, Vermeule could just die right here. I think I would have liked to see the evade. Because you have plenty of force. Uh, but uh, false transponder codes is just going to jam it off anyway. Jam. Jam. So again, Django has the target lock out on Vermeil. Is the initiative six, and we should get our attacks right now. Here we go. Range two into Oof. Vermeil. No tokens out there. And we're going to go ahead and close that betting. Hit, uh, crit, oop. crit, that. So starting with fire here. All three uh, shields. Uh, well, hold on. I think. Oh, that's a performer attack. I'm thinking of the other one. All right. <laughs> bye bye, shields, Vermeil. No lone wolf. No focus. Luckily, not see. taking any crits because of the shield upgrade. Uh, probably be taking a crit here from the proton torpedo. Does Maul have a lock on him? Oh, he sure does. Yeah. This seems highly probable. This seems highly probable. So it shouldn't be obstructed. Huh, it is obstructed. Interesting. Two hits. Probably, Probably just see. dump dump the Two. force. Yeah. Yeah. Change one hit to a crit. This is gonna be bad. And Maul does have two force available to perform the bonus attack against Oiken. We'll see if we see it. Gonna spend Vermeil's force in order to convert that to an evade. That's gonna be hit, hit, crit, three cards. We are down to half. Vermeil is gonna be down to three hole after that engagement. Ends up taking a weapons failure in a two ship format. That is uh, that is crippling. Absolutely crippling taking a weapons failure. Are we gonna get the mall trigger here? Looks like he's passing on the opportunity for the bonus attack against Oiken. He may just be choosing to keep his uh, force for defense. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Vermeil taking the oh, opportunity to take the shot on the probe droid. Smart. Oh, only one hit. These things do have three agility. Only need to be tapped once, though, in order to to die. Uh, Vermeil ability for does two. Does that work against this? Yeah, that's oh, the a defender. defender yeah. Does, yep. Yeah. Cool. Sir Blitz, I'm I'm glad you like those those crit animations. We had taken a pause from using them for a long time, but when I reset some things on the on the overlay, I brought them back. They're little they're little work to use, but for you guys, I got you, fam. All right, looks like this is going against Maul. Uh, Spend for here. three, yes. So is gonna let Maul regen some extra force. So the hate ability being super helpful for him. Let the hate flow through you. Uh, probably spins one here. Uh, uh, ah, he's using Palpatine. Uh, count. Yeah, 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 Palpatine. Okay, that's not a bad play. Takes two shields on Maul. Mm, why did he regen two? He took damage. Ah, took two damage, so he regens two for eight. Got it, got it, got it, got it. And Maul's back at full. <laughs> Chancellor Palpatine. Oh. <gasps> you made the cookies. We got two cookies for you. <gasps> are, the, are these the first cookies you made with mommy? 
Oh my goodness. Hey, good job, baby girl. High five. You brought them at the perfect time. Let me can I, let, let me see. How they taste? Do they taste good? Yeah, did you guys use the mixer? <gasps> you did? All right, guys, these are these are the first cookies that Arwen has made ever. I'm so excited to try these. Do you want me to try it right now? Okay. Mmm. They're they're crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. They're perfect. Perfect good, cookies. Good job. Mean? Come here, yeah. honey. Come here. Good job. Mm. Mm. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Can you do Poppy a favor? Can you bring me a bottle of water, please? Thank you, honey. Uh, what are the blues for um, for decimators? I don't even know. Desi blues. Perfect. Okay. Uh, just the one, two straight, and the one bank. What are the bank controls for using the ship's text box? I'm not sure why. I'm, look, I, I guess everybody has their preference on how they want to do it. But the ailerons is on the dial, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the ailerons are actually coded as a separate maneuvers, thing. Maneuvers, not boosts. Yeah. So this should work. I have not heard of them not working before. So where's Vulcan at? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just work here. Ooh, good point, Night Hound. It's only range zero to two for Palpatine. Yep. Oh, you're right. Well. I'll jump over there. Okay, yeah. I was like, ah, it's going to be hard yeah, to type they out. Won't, they won't be able to hear you for a minute. Okay. He's not stressed. He is not stressed. Not stressed. Okay. Nope. I did not. We did not check range. So that was my okay. fault on that. Oh, you guys right. got it. And okay. Cool. Bye. <laughs> they got it. Ah! Oh, can you hear me now? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> so not stressed, but that also means that Maul was plus one four. So at at four total. Yeah. Oh man, these cookies were really good. <laughs> I only had one. I want to have the other one, but we're working here. All right. Oh no. Ooh. Oh, just every everything is not going right for Mike. Hits it. So I think what I would have liked to see from Vermeil here is he could have aileroned into the gap to look at the ships, and I would have preferred him to bump that way, and that sets up the sloop for the following turn. Yeah. Because he wasn't going to get an, an action anyway. Yeah, like if he had aileroned left and mm -hmm. then sloop left or something though i will say this turn is also very awkward for uh oh yeah for zach yeah. as well we may see something like a oh okay oh bump hey that worked out yeah and that may actually put Django in a really bad position too so that might that may put Django on the rock yeah so, 
I mean, look at the, look at all who, this. Who's, who's really <laughs> wrong here? <laughs> Party on the rock. All right, and yeah, that's gonna be a shield for Tango. Party like a rock star. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> every everyone within was is within like half an inch of this rock. <laughs> Now, you know what this is? This is uh, musical chairs, but there's four people playing for yeah, one there, chair. There you go. Here, here's, <laughs> here's that this overhead view that, that I'm sure you guys want. Here it is. <laughs> that's that's that situation right there. Get your get your screen caps now. Yeah, Toby, that's the big brain <laughs> move right there. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, Maul does get a. Range one shot at Oiken. Um, yeah. This is not going to be nice for Oiken. Uh, spin two force to take uh, two da three damage. Decimeters with that zero agility. You roll it, you get it. Yeah. Staying up to 5 a.m. to clean that oven, worth it. Worth it every worth time. It. <laughs> All right, Oiken has a choice here. He could go into uh, into Django here and do some damage. What was the question here? Not sure who's going in here, but it's going to be four hits, whoever it is. Looks like it's Darth Maul. Hey guys, uh, quick question. How did the weapons failure get fixed? I'm sorry, I can't hear him right now. What did he say? Uh, Inquisitor. How did... Action, okay. action bar, Inquisitor's, Inquisitor's only action, action bar, bar only. Only action bar, I believe. Wait. What perform one okay. white act? Oh, on my action bar, so I would still have. All right, I'm back. What what is what is happening? Didn't he roll? So he ro he roll. So he can't fix the weapons failure, uh, for Vermeil earlier. Yeah. So we got that got that flipped. We also we fi we we fixed the Palpatine issue earlier as well. Didn't he roll four hits? What happened? Sorry, I was I was worried about the Grand Inquisitor thing. Did I miss something else? Yeah, I rolled. Yeah, so shields down in a card, right? Should be two cards because he was already down two shields. You want to go double check? I I yeah, didn't see it. I'll go over there one second. <laughs> Belinda Moon just cut off his legs. That's right. Shout out to Belinda Mood, 40 month subscriber. One of the founders. Got that founders badge. That is a, that is a very exclusive club. Yeah, all good. So he rolled he he rolled in advantage, so it was only uh three damage. Got it. Yeah. Oh wow! What a game! <laughs> <laughs> and 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 the funny part is, is they're just gonna keep going around this rock. Mm -hmm. like... <laughs> uh, so I got I got a question for you, Dion. Does yes. oh, you can drop the prox mine here? Hi, CC. Hi. <laughs> uh, does oh, can drop the prox mine? Ah. Uh...
I don't think it's in a. I don't think it's in a position where it's going to hit. But I mean, if I, if Maul does like a four k, a five k, I think it might catch the template. What are you doing? What, Cece? What are you doing? I took the gate off of my office, so now the door is a, a free <laughs> free zone. Yeah, she heard cookies. <laughs> Thank you, JV. So yeah, you know, the, Oiken, this positioning around this rock it does favor Oiken, right? He has a side arc. You could just keep yeah. playing, you know, uh, ring around the rosy. We're fine. Yeah. Uh, Maul can do a uh, two sloop here. That's right, two sloop. Yep. Yeah. These did not draw up that prox mine. Yeah, I, I, I like holding it. I think you can find another position, another opportunity to to take it. Yeah, taking the advantage to get a lock onto Django Fit. He does have the hunted focus conversion, so that'll be helpful. Oh, and uh Vermeil's Major out. Vermeil is getting out. <laughs> You're gonna repair the weapons failure. Mm-hmm. Oof. See, that would have been a prox mine right there. Is willing to take saying. the risk. Yeah, you're. Yeah, he's you're, taking the risk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Says, oh, I don't care. Uh, so it looks like he does have a shot on to Oiken if he wanted to, but I think the better option may be to go into Ramil. Uh, the next shot's definitely going to hit him, though. <laughs> the next prox mine. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he can dodge 100%. that one. <laughs> and I guess w with your point, he could have gotten both of them, right? He could have hit him twice rather than yeah. just once. Yeah. So... I'm, it, and I guess he might get two in a row. It just depends on whether Maul is going to pursue Oiken, which equals he'll take another bomb next turn, or if he is going to end up dipping down and going to uh, to pursue Vermeil. Mind you, Vermeil yeah, only has two hull and could die this turn. Yeah, and Darth Maul still has another proton shot if he wanted to take it. So I think he just may kill Vermeil here. Uh, so Django taking that chance to change his lock to Captain Oiken. Um, Ooh, he crit, crit, hit. Bending the Count Dooku Force to change that. Uh, and that's just going to be three damage. Yeah. And a crit. What do we get? I mean, he was only focusing anyway, so. so damage sensor Damage sensor array. array. Yeah, I think, you, I think you throw that last proton. Nope, just regular shot here. Just holding on to uh, it for big shot. Big money. Big sh Big shot. Uh, spins the lock. Uh, yeah, spend the focus. Yeah. I think that guarantees it, right? Yep. He's gone. Yeah. I mean, Ver Vermeil didn't really have a chance to shine in this matchup. Went down yeah, pretty he, quickly. I think he made the bad decision of trying to, um, trying to, trying to get out. Through mm -hmm. through this lane here in uh, in the top right lane, mm -hmm. and uh, just clipped the cloud, and uh, was not able to. Oh, he is spending two force to perform another attack against Oiken. Yep, I mean that's that's a great decision. You have an opportunity right now to double up shots from both Django and um, and Maul, and, and ooh, worth it. Spend that last force. Three hits and a crit going into Oiken. The brutality. Panicked and a panic pilot. pilot. Oh my goodness. People in the chat already saying GG. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. th this was a. Uh, oh. You know, some games take these turns. Sometimes this is what happens. 
when war happens, people get hurt. Even in the Star War. Uh, oh man, so... You got range 2 and a Django here, but you can do some serious damage into Maul. I think you go at Maul. That's your best chance. It's your, that is what you'll end up... The thing is, though, you don't have any mods against Maul. That's true, because you have the lock over there. Spin the lock. And as a sad moral, I, I liked your point as well. Even if you did only, you know, one damage here, you could have... I guess, you know what? In hindsight, if you go on Django now and the prox mine kills Maul... No, you have five hull. No, you would have needed to do both. Never mind. Kind of that wrong. So choosing to keep the lock here. Did end up taking two on Django. Down to one shield. Mm. Uh. You're out, CC. All right, talk to you later. Bye. Go. So Django not Django now or sorry uh Oiken now not in a great spot. Nope, this is an Oiken sandwich. Django mall bread. And the decimators aren't maneuverable enough to to make a difference in this game. Like the I honestly really like Mike's list. I I like the more maneuverable Reaper, and you know you got this uh, the, the Decimator, which you have you know you don't have any type of boosts or barrel rolls that are available for the ship, and uh, you know you, you use the squirreliness of Vermeil to kind of distract from Oiken, and that that could really push you um, in the game. Yeah, I, th I think he should have um, swapped over the Darth Vader to to Cab Noigan. Because mm -hmm. I, I really like Vader on turret ships better because they can maintain that arc more. And there's the Prox so, Mine. Auto yeah. one damage and rolling two dice. Hate does trigger there. We'll see what he gets. It takes another. I mean, the likeliness of Oiken to have done three damage last turn was low. But again, there was a chance to possibly do a, you know, not initiative kill, but kill him before the next uh, round came around, next round of engagement. All right, so Oiken sitting there with seven hull. And something uh, I noticed someone else earlier say uh, they would have liked to also see uh, Ion Limiter override on uh, Vermeil. Ah, uh, yeah, get some barrel roll action. To, to give him some more flexibility. I like that. I like that a lot. Django range two. Looks like we got a Dooku trigger on this one. Calls for crit. We'll check we'll see the change there. Has a focus token as well. Did he not spend the focus as well? Alrighty. Looks like he did not. 
holding it for maybe for no, he's not even holding it for defense because Oiken's left right at the moment. May have just missed the fact that he has a fo focus token out there. It happens sometimes. Maul hitting hard, hit hit crit. Takes Oof. a whole breach. Everything, everything's face up. All yeah, of I'm, it. I'm glad to see. I'm glad to see that. Uh, late later in the crit chain. <laughs> mm -hmm. So he has one hole left, or does he have a hole upgrade? No. Two left. Yeah, ten. I'm bad at counting. Okay, two more. Two more left. Well, hopefully. Did he not have a shot. Uh, he did not. Oh wow! So, I mean, we're, we're gonna see from um, Oiken drop the the bomb here, the mine, the the second proximity mine, which could potentially get Darth Maul off the board. Dooku's too far away. No, it, it it can't get Maul. Maul has three health. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. Dooku's yeah. too far away, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say, oh no, because you can just Dooku one of them to a blank, but too far. So what I was saying here, uh, we, we got the drop. Doesn't quite... Did, did it hit on the drop? Yeah, it, it hit him, yeah. Hit on the drop. One damage. And not Ooh, today. Safe. Not today. So as this game starts rolling towards uh, towards its its end here, you know we're, we 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 know the outcome. He just needs to do two two damage uh, on a zero agility ship. Um, I want to say thank you to everybody who joined us this weekend. I want to remind you of a couple of things. The Flight Club Championship signups are open now. We have uh, tons of prizes. We just announced it. Absolutely beautiful template tray. Uh, custom template tray that we're giving away to every the, to all three levels of the top four. And if you haven't heard about the Flight Club Championships, I think there's still some confusion about it because I heard some people talking about it different ways. There's three different levels of championship events, and everybody who plays makes a championship event. The whole idea of it is the qualifiers, really all those are doing is putting people into their, uh, into their player category. Which is the concept is, you know, if you go, um, the, depending on your record, you will be assigned either ace, veteran, or recruit, okay? And people who, there's a recruit level championship, a veteran level championship, and then an ace level championship. And all three of those have comparable prizes. At all three levels, we're doing some awesome flight club championship template holders, and they have the different ranks on them, depending on where, where you earn it. Championship templates, cards, trophies for all three levels. The whole point of it is just to give people of all levels an opportunity to play in an event with people of their similar skill level. So check that out, goldsquadronpodcast.com, or type exclamation point FC in the chat if you're watching on Twitch, or click the link in the description below if you're watching later on YouTube. There's four different qualifiers, two in the L.A. time zone, two in the London time zone, and all the championship events are in the uh, in the New York time zone. So take a look at that. What's up, Wigsby? So and that'll do it for the game. <laughs>